Hey what's up everybody welcome back to another episode of my youtube video. So in this video I will be talking about the thermal printer, how to configure and install it. So without wasting any time let's just start it. So here we go I have received this device from goonline.pk for the review. It's a nice simple box and mentioning the details of the printer. It's a thermal printer of Speedex model SPX200 most commonly known as Speedex 200 and also famous as ATMM printer. Opening up the box you'll find the driver CD on the top that contains its driver and underneath that the manual book. Manual book that contains all the configuration and settings that you never read. And alongside the 3 pin AC power adapter that will power up your printer. If you look at the configurations it comes out the 2.5 amperes maximum output and the green indicator will tell that the power is on and a USB cable that will help to communicate with your printer and a test paper roll to get the sample prints and here we go it's a speed x 200 thermal printer look at the size it's a small you can easily adjust it anywhere along with the computer look at it it's a small simple and easy there are three lights on that first one is a power that will tell us that the power is on and the second one is error if, if there is any sort of issue with that it will turn on and the third one is a paper when the paper is ended that will not proceed the printing process it will beep and the light will turn on and the other one is a feed button when you press that it will print all the configuration of the printer and on the back there are four boards first one is a power cable and the second one is RJ11 cache board that will connect with the cache drawer and the third one is the network cable RJ45 that will connect that will connect through the network and the fourth one is a USB cable and on the top there is a push button if you press it the face will open where you can install the paper rock on the top there is a roller that will help to roll out the paper and up on the front there is a cutter that will cut the paper after the print so moving on the installation part first of all you have to connect the power cord into the socket and the green light will tell the power is on and then put the power cable into the slot once you have done with that choose how you want to connect your printer i will connect my computer via usb you can also connect it via lan cable and uh, the other port is a cache port if you have a cache drawer you can also insert the rj11 cable into that port i will install the usb cable into the usb port and rest of them leave empty well up in the front there is a power button once your printer is ready just turn it on so for now I, i'm moving onward to install the paperwork uh, again on the top there is a push button press it and the printer face will open and as the face pops up, there is an empty space where you can install your paper rock. And up in the front there is a paper cutter. And on the top there is a roller that will roll out the paper. And the most important thing, how you gonna install the paper rock. The direction is important. Install the paper rock as I have let it. If you install it the other way, paper, paper will not be printed. Because one side of the paper is gonna be printed. Now move on to the computer. Install the USB cable into the computer. And then power on the SpeedX200 printer. For the first time all three lights will turn on, if there are no errors it will turn normally. And don't worry about the drivers, I will give you the download link of the universal driver that will work with all the thermal printer or ATMM printers. The method is same for all the thermal printers. In this way you can configure all the thermal printers with your computer. If you have any issues comment down and I will give you the solution. And the simple installation process is hit next 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 and then at the end you choose the USB and select the USB port and you are done and for the confirmation if your driver is successfully installed go to program files devices and printers and there will be your printer and then go to your pos software and then go to your pos software and check if you have selected the printer you have installed and select your printer and send the test print and you are done and that's it for now if you have any question or queries you can comment right below and if you have any device for review you can send me so until the next video take care How did I get here?